Problem, I don't feel prepared when I go sourcing. I'm always missing the right tools for the job. Solution, in this video, I will show you what to carry in a go bag and thrift like a pro. <laughs> Gaming here with Real Solutions, a channel dedicated to giving you real solutions without having you sit through long videos filled with nonsense. Let's get to it. Are you talking about a cool go bag or a weirdo fanny pack? First off, fanny packs are not weird. I carry one when I go mountain biking, but I see what you're getting at. Second of all, it's called a sling bag, bro. How about you let me show everyone my pack? Damn, why are you so testy today? You didn't eat your Wheaties? Let's just get started. What you see here is a sling bag, which is carried in front of you on your chest. There are various positions, but closer to the hip and away from the top of the chest is best. Chest is best. Can't argue with that, bro. The sling bag is empty right now because I just got it and I'm hoping it all fits. Let's find out together. I was carrying all this in a slightly larger backpack, but decided to downsize for convenience. Also, the employees of the thrift look at me like I'm going to steal their $3 items. In fact, most establishments in my area have hard and fast rules about backpacks, but sling bags are mostly okay because they tend to be a lot smaller. Let's keep going with the contents of the go bag. This is a snapshot of what the bag contains. Did you catch all that? You can tell what most of the items are, but there are some in opaque, mysterious cases. So now you have to stay until the end of the video to find out what everything is and thank you in advance for that. Let's begin with an attachment to this bag that won't apply to all of you unless you like to document your trips. That is this baby right here. This is how it's worn. I purchased this from Costco for about 350 bucks and it is the GoPro 10. I gotta say there's a lot of other less expensive cameras, but from experience, the GoPro is the best. It really is. The Chinese book you get on Amazon will just give you a headache. Save your pennies and get yourself a GoPro. You could always sell some feet pics online. That is unfortunately true, my man. Everything you see in this video will be linked below for convenience and for me to make money from affiliate sales. Wow, shameless. Hell no, it's not shameless, it's transparent. Those sales help keep the channel running and it keeps you in new threads like those sweet jeans you got. Okay, you got me there. All of you click the links below. This whole tray of stuff may seem like a lot to take with you, but it's like carrying a handgun in my opinion. It's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. This right here is all about power. This large battery pack is to prevent phone outages and to provide power to items that may need it, which leads me to this multi-connector cord. It has USB-C, USB micro, lightning connector for power, and lightning connector for data transfer. You can cover a lot of bases with this. It is six feet long, so you don't have to be glued to the wall or to your item like a gecko. Plus, I have an Apple square for the wall that can be used to power small electronics. In this same bag, we have three different types of batteries, which are the most common, AA, AAA, and nine volt. There are four of each of the AA and AAA separated by plastic baggies and one nine volt, also in a baggie. These small bags prevent the batteries from touching each other and reacting, causing them to get hot. That's not what you want. What you do want hot though is your coffee. I want to thank today's sponsor, Mob Shots Coffee Company, for providing this great tasting, rowdy looking bag of coffee. The beans are medium roast and bagged in the great state of Texas. I can tell you from experience that this small business has the right stuff. The coffee not only tastes great, but it doesn't give me heartburn like others that are overly acidic. In partnership with Mob Shots Coffee Company, the bag is verified and shipped by Resolutions straight to your home. Get yourself a bag today. The link is in the description below. Before we move on from the batteries, there is one thing to note. They are rechargeable. Since you use them so much, it is a great low cost option. One very important thing to note about these batteries is that they can come slightly larger in girth and length, making them very difficult to install or remove. Here we have two items that live together. The multi-tool is exactly what it sounds like. It has a multitude of tools to use when needed, like pliers, cutters, Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and a whole bunch others. I do love me a multi-tool. I can't tell you the amount of times I have needed to break into... Oh wait, never mind. B&E aside, this magnet attached to the multi-tool is a must carry. Magnets can be used to weed out precious metals from pop metals or what most people just call metal. As you can see here, this magnet doesn't stick to my ring, which is 925 silver. If I touch the multi-tool, it sticks to it right on because it's steel. Now we have a trusty lighter because fire. In case they don't want to negotiate, huh? Wait, what? Stop with the pirate talk, bro. We are civilized human beings capable of using our words and not violence, mostly anyway. This is a magnifying glass or loop that has triple use. It can help you magnify markings, damage, or anything you can't see. It has white light in case you need some and don't want to use your phone. Finally, my favorite, it triples up as a UV light to test currency, green glass, and photochromic eyewear. I'm sure there's some other uses. If you use a UV light in a different way, let me know in the comments below. 
I love to learn. Now look at the baggy label para medir. Translation, please. Chill, bro, I was getting to that. It means to measure or for measuring. Inside I have a small retractable tape measure that eBay sent me for this year's eBay Open. So thanks eBay. I also have a ring sizer. This format is difficult to use by a newbie, but it gets close. Normally you throw a ring on a stick like this and measure the size that way. The one in the bag is to measure the circumference of the finger. But since the stick is too big, I can wing it with the zip tie looking thing. The stick is too big, you say? All right, all right, enough of that. I'm sure there are ladies watching. All the more reason, bro. And for all of you watching, if you haven't already, like, share, and comment on this video. Also subscribe for more pro tips. This red looking scraper right there is a Scotty peeler and it helps with price tag removal or gunk removal on your potential buys. Next, we have Simichrome polish and five cotton swabs or Q-tips cut in half to save on waste. Now you have 10 for testing. I take this with me everywhere to test plastics and to see if I can find one of my favorite items, which is Bakelite. I have a separate video showing you how to test properly. I'll link it below or it'll be floating around here on the screen somewhere. Now, this is one of the best investments you can make if you buy a lot of jewelry or if you prefer only items that are under one pound. This is a pocket scale that can measure up to 1000 grams or a little over two pounds. It has different modes if you don't like the metric system or if you have something that is heavier than small jewelry. You can choose ounces to see uh, the weight in American or Imperial. I prefer to call it American though. No metric, huh? Man, we dumb. We real dumb. Speak for yourself, Bruce. I know my conversions and I can use both. I prefer American because I see it so much, but I did teach myself. Do you use a metric system at all? I'm curious now. Leave it in the comments below and everyone on there, be nice. You may be wondering, are those fingers on that white claw? If you thought that from the beginning, you'd be right. These are cotton gloves used to touch paintings or anything fragile. Also used to handle expensive timepieces or glass. They come in more handy than you think. Here we have band-aids because it happens. These are Velcro ties to bind things together and a UV pen. The pen I may not carry in this bag because I'm not sure if I have enough space and I already have a UV option with the magnifier as you saw earlier. Though the light is much stronger on this one, if you can carry it, you should. Now for the final four pieces of this go bag. FU tax forms because <laughs> the thieving government. Mechanical pencils because they write on anything. Some cash because cash is king. And the government doesn't need to know what you're buying. And this baby right here. This has made me a crap ton of money from precious stones that were discarded and skipped by everyone else that wasn't prepared like a pro. This is a diamond or precious stone tester. This is definitely a cheap one because the good ones sell for about 180 bucks. This one works just fine as long as you know what you're doing and follow the instructions of use. Not only can you use it to test diamonds, but also other stones like rubies, sapphires, emeralds, jade, and true glass. I highly recommend it. Just click the link below to get your own. Now, let's see if all this will fit properly and to my liking. Everything fit, but not to my liking. It's a little bulky, but it's all necessary, so I'm just gonna deal. And there you have it. Get yourself a go bag and thrift like a pro. I'm Damien, and this is Bruce, always here to serve you. Now get to it and have the best day. <laughs> what the fuck did I say? What? Are you talking about a what? A to go bag? Or oh, is that what I said? You said it didn't, it didn't, a go bag, a cool go bag. If you use a, <clears throat> they use the metric. <clears throat> Stop that real quick. I need to take this shit off. You want a bag? Yeah, but it's all. It's gonna be all in the ad. Okay, you're gonna test yeah, I'm gonna test it.